The investigation into the Odessa shooting has now focused on a home that's over 100 miles away from us here. It is a house in a quiet neighborhood. It's across from a country club in Lubbock. And that is where our Jason Allen is live tonight for us, where investigators believe that the gun used in the shooting may have come from. Jason, what else do you know? Well, Doug, federal officials, as you know, revealed earlier this week that the shooter did not get the gun from a gun dealer or a gun store, but in a private sale. Now, as you mentioned, this neighborhood that we're in, this is pretty far away from uh, DFW and from uh, Odessa, a couple hours drive north, maybe a little longer. And if the person of interest who lives here was involved in any way in firearms, either as a hobby or as a business, it was news to the people who live around him who told us they were unaware of anything like that until they saw the raid happening here. Uh, records show that the couple who owns the house has lived here for at least three years, and it does not turn up on any records that we could find of federally licensed firearm dealers, and the owners' names individually do not show up there either. And in this neighborhood, and in a previous one where the couple lived, neighbors told us they had kids, they were friendly, and firearms never came up in conversation. Officials close to the investigation told the Associated Press today, though, they were looking at the, quote, transfer of the firearm from here to the shooter. Now, that could mean a sale or trade, and they were also looking at if the person of interest here had manufactured the gun. It is common to buy parts to build your own firearm, which could then be sold in a private sale without a background check. If that becomes a business, or if it's done for profit, though, there would have to be a license. Now, we're not aware of any charges or arrests of the people who live here, at least to this point, and though we did try to reach the homeowner today, we did not immediately receive a response back. Live in Lubbock tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason, we appreciate it. Thank you.